MG continues to specialize in providing budget brand buyers access to full electrification at super affordable prices. In 2020, the company announced its second zero emissions model, the MG5 EV Estate, then improved it a year later with a larger 61 kilowatt hour battery to create the MG5 EV long range model that we're going to look at here. This, the UK's first and cheapest EV estate, offers a 250 mile combined driving range, an increase of 36 miles over the original 52 kilowatt hour version, all for a reasonably conventional price. Exciting? Possibly not. Clever? Definitely. It's a sign of the times that you can't have any sort of combustion engine in an MG5, not even a plug-in hybrid one. And it's a reflection of the needs of the European market that the single EV model we do get is quite a lot more powerful than the version offered to the Chinese. The output of this long-range 61 kilowatt hour model, unchanged over the original 52 kilowatt hour version, is set at 156 PS. That's 42 PS more than the Far Eastern Row EI5 version of this design, reflecting the fact that family folk here have been conditioned to expect their EVs to be quite quick. So this one gets to 60 miles an hour in just 7.3 seconds, on the way to a rather un-EV-like top speed of 115 miles an hour. Those family folk will be expecting a reasonably long driving range too. They didn't really get it with the 214 mile figure offered by the original model, but this long range version's 250 mile combined figure is a bit more like it. To get close to that, you'll need to have selected the most frugal of the three available drive modes, Eco, and made proactive use of the three Kerr's regenerative braking settings, the most powerful of which slows the car noticeably off throttle. You won't be expecting much from the drive dynamics, and you shouldn't, but the steering is reasonably well weighted and the ride soaks up sharper bumps and speed humps quite well. You'll need to be careful with your right foot, it's easy for the power on offer through the single speed auto gearbox to quickly overwhelm the front tyres, modest reserves of traction. Pushing on a bit offers the opportunity to switch out of the default normal drive setting into sport and as with most EVs, body roll is controlled by the low placement of the battery in the chassis floor. Longer trips in particular are aided by the inclusion of MG Pilot, a package of active safety features including adaptive cruise control with lane keep assist and automatic emergency braking. The exterior styling, unchanged with this long-range model, is restrained and conservative and not particularly suggestive of a budget brand. In profile, a crisp shoulder line runs above the door handles with lower creases that give the flank some shape. These 16-inch Meteor alloy wheels are standard and silver roof rails decorate this plusher exclusive version. Whichever variant you opt for, you certainly get a lot of metal for the money. The MG5 is 4.54 metres long, which to give you some perspective is about 100 millimetres shorter than a Ford Focus Estate, though this MG's 2.6 metre wheelbase is only 43 millimetres shorter than that Ford's. This Chinese contender is 1.82 metres wide and 1.54 metres tall too. Let's take a look inside. Up front, the specialist motoring press has been a bit disparaging about the cabin ambience, but it's actually not that far off volume brand standards without feeling especially plush, even in this top exclusive spec variant with its white stitched leatherette upholstery. MG's tried to meet the current prevailing class standard for infotainment too with this 8 inch centre monitor. It'll usually display in this split screen format with audio, navigation and Apple CarPlay options easily accessible. Anything else you might need to know can be found in the instrument binnacle which combines a central 7 inch screen with, rather curiously on an electric vehicle, outer analogue dials. The left one for speed and the right being an EV power meter. When the ignition is fired, the outer edges of both analogue dials are completed by the edges of the centre screen with a green battery percentage graphic on the left and a blue voltage display on the right. 
Time to take a seat in the rear. Now on the back seat, there's ample headroom and legroom, even for taller occupants. And you could fit three adults in without much trouble, thanks to the relative absence of a central transmission tunnel. Finally, this is an estate car, so you'll want to know about boot space, which is rated at 578 litres with the rear seats in place, around the same as a Ford Focus estate. Fold the 60-40 split rear bench flat in this MG5, and you can extend your storage space to 1,456 litres. Earlier, we mentioned this car's 250-mile WLTP-rated driving range, 23 miles less than a ZS EV. That's a combined figure. MG quotes 190 miles for motorways, 279 for rural roads, 334 for towns and cities, and 344 miles for slow-moving traffic. Charging an MG5 EV is straightforward thanks to its combined CCS and Type 2 port mounted within the front grille for easy access from either side of the car, but access via a rather flimsy flap. The CCS plug-in is an enhanced version of the Type 2 plug with two additional power contacts for the purposes of quick charging and supports AC and DC charging power. Featuring rapid charging capability, the car can charge from 10 to 80% in 40 minutes from a 100 watt kilowatt charging station, if of course you can find one. At home, the car can recharge itself using a standard 7.4 kilowatt wall box in around nine and a half hours. That's about an hour quicker than MG ZS EV, which has a larger 72 kilowatt hour battery. Either way, overnight charging should be easy, and in emergencies, the car can also, of course, be charged via a standard three-pin plug, though that'll take a yawning 18 hours. As with all MG models, you also get one of the longest fully transferable warranties in its class, a seven-year or 80,000-mile package being standard across all variants. Here, maybe, just maybe, is the market's most sensible family car. You'd have to be free from the affliction of badge snobbery to consider it and have no particular interest in the joy of driving. But if that doesn't bother you, then an MG5 EV might have plenty to recommend it as an ownership proposition if your next family car simply must be an EV. For the price of a planet-polluting mid-range Focus or Astra Estate, you could have one of these. A car just as practical but offering zero tailpipe emissions and a model that you could run without ever having to visit a filling station again. Makes you think, doesn't it?